Hello everyone, welcome to my channel Bose Dynamite. UV to mesh or flatten mesh. Let's take a look how we can do that in Maya. So there are two methods for this. One is transfer attributes and the other is using Bifrost. So first we will take a look at how we can do this with uh, transfer attributes. So I have a costume geo here and you can see the UV is it's in 0 to 1 space and the first thing to do here is split this geometry based on the UV tiles or UV shells. So either you can go in and select each border and split in here or the easiest method is going to selection constraint in the, U, in the UV panel, selection constraint, texture border and you can make the selection. Now this is a slow process in Maya so this may take some time depending on the resolution of your geometry okay the selection is done so you can see all the border is selected so that's good now we will split the geometry detach components all right now that is done delete all my type history and one thing one important factor is clean clean mesh so we have to make sure that the mesh is clean so let me take a look select matching polygons non-manifold we'll look for that and it looks like there is some manifold geometry so we just quickly clean up mesh clean up clean up clean up all right that should be fine now i will make a copy so that uh, we can blend shape between flattened geometry and the uh, main geometry so let me make a duplicate and let I will call this flat. Right. Uh, let me move this to the side. Cool. Now what I'm going to do is select this plane. This is a regular plane. You can just create, shift, create plane, and then scale it up a bit. And it direct by history. And okay. Now we will. Okay. I will select plane first then the costume geometry then go to mesh transfer attributes and vertex position to on and rest of these things should be off and the sample space we are using is UV so transfer and that worked so if you delete all by type history and I'll just hide this to see now you can see there's a shading on this it's easy to fix just go to mesh display unlock normals and that's fixed now one thing you will notice here is this black color now that's coming from flip normals so you can see in uv this section is red that means the uv is flipped you can fix it by flipping the normals on these uh, shells but this might affect when you blend shape between costume and this flat geometry so I will show you let me let me do a blend shape look all right so see it works perfectly selection highlighting okay that works fine now this is one method and over time history I will just Delete these two. Now let's say if you have a geometry no selection with UDIM tiles. Now let's say we have two UDIM tiles or ten UDIM tiles. How to go about that? Now it's also the same thing. First you will have to split it up. So I will do the same thing. Edge and select. It will take some time. Okay, now we will do the same thing we will split this geometry shift detach components again make sure it's clean so I do a cleanup history that it all by time history and now I will make a copy as before same as before this one will be flat flat okay now we have the plane from before Display show selection I will move this bit 
Maybe. Okay. Now, one thing to note is the UDIM spaces don't match up. Now, what we can do here is in this case, select the UV. Okay, texture border off. Select the UV of this plane and scale it up. Now, you can also move it. If you are lazy, you can just scale it up to, to cover the whole UDIM tiles. If there is 10, cover up the whole 10. Now, in our case, just two. So, I'll just cover up just these. Cool. Now, what I will do is I will do the same thing from before. Just select plane and then the geometry. Shift select the geometry. Mesh transfer attributes. Same thing. And voila, that's done. Edit, delete all by type history. Hide this. And as before, unlock normals. So that's it. Now, if you do a blend shape, this one, this one, deform blend shape, that works. See? So this is one method. Now, the other method involves bifrost. Let me delete all by time history. And it's much more easier in that we don't need to do so many clicks. So let me take that to zero. All right. Let me open up uh, Bifrost. You can create a Bifrost graph or window. You can open up the graph editor and then create a graph. Very easy. Now, you might notice that my layout in Bifrost graph, Bifrost graph editor is a bit are different because I am using Bifrost editor version 2 which is a separate scripts from HeyW so you can get that from HeyW this Gumroad I will add this link uh, with this video anyway so we, we need two compounds from him this mesh compounds and Bifrost editor at the same time, we will also need Maxim MJCJ compounds. All right. So once you have installed that, it's very easy. You just have to drag and drop your geometry. Even if it has UDIM, you don't have to worry about anything. You can delete that off. Now we don't need this. We can hide it. Now you can go to MJCJ compounds or you can just type C U V create mesh from UV. So you can see there's that uh, MJCJ symbol and this is the compound. You just have to connect it. Let's take a second. I guess it's just too small. So you have the you have it here. Now, there are some attributes that you can play with in this compound. Sorry about that. Let me, okay. You can change the scale of this. It's a bit slow because of my screen capture. But anyway, you can see, you can scale it up. And one other cool thing to do is go back to basically a blend shape between your main mesh and the flat mesh. All right, so you can blend shape between UV and geometry. So in this, with Bifrost, you don't need to do any separation or anything you just can directly go in and do this now let's say you want this as a Maya mesh right now it's a bifrost mesh so if you want that as a Maya mesh we can right click and create Maya mesh so it will create a UV geometry and let's say you want um, let's say if you change this unfold because the bifrost is connected to this UV mesh the Maya mesh. Now, if you change something in in the compound, 
that is if I change this unfold to zero it will automatically change that for our Maya mesh so this is very handy now this is a compound from JCJ in case you are not able to uh, get this compound you can actually create this by your own so let me create a new, new by frost graph new graph and I have my own custom UV to mesh RP UV to mesh which does the same thing but this is a bit more faster I can take the same mesh mesh to and you can instantly see that this is much more faster so this have like I just hide this thing as well so you can see I have the UV mesh and this is much faster than MJCJ compound and this gives both output a UV mesh and a split mesh which you can connect it or out mesh and then create Maya mesh for each so you have both these and you can do a blend shape with those so go blend shape see it's very efficient so it's very simple to create this compound you can see you can just follow the same structure and this should work for you so this is a close-up of the nerve bug so you can take a screenshot and build it as is or customize it however you want and make it, it into a compound and you can use it over and over again All right, that's pretty much it. So this is how these are two options that you can use when when you want to flatten mesh or when you want to make mesh from UV. Thank you.